possession. Zaire Williams is a high upside wing prospect. I think it would be extremely difficult for someone to see the best of Zaire and not get excited about his potential as a player. He's 6'8", a fluid athlete when healthy, and someone who has put his ability to create buckets in a variety of ways on full display over the last few years dating back to high school. He's a long way from a finished product, but someone who projects as a scoring wing and also has the defensive and playmaking capabilities that he does will forever be intriguing. It is just easy, nice flow. Zaire Williams. Conference that category a season ago. Williams sizing up another shot to mid range. to be able to get to the hole, not just a shooter. That's one of the things that you normally work on over the season. The other Williams, Zaire. Pull up. Zaire Williams for the top. Just making those decisions. Oh, just like Joe Hook. I love the Conference of Champions, and I love being here. Somehow, I can't remember. Shocker. Yeah, they played him early in the week, too. That's right. Feels like a few days ago. Williams. Probably giving him a breather. Now the five to shoot. The fadeaway roll off the bench. Now the step back. Pressing it. Pushing my memory back. The other thing I remember about two things about Samaki Walker. Two to shoot it. Williams. He makes it. Squares up into the double team. Extra pass for Williams. Big three. Zaire Williams straight on. And a three. <laughs> he said, Welcome to Oregon. He's dangerous from beyond that arc as well. Williams on like basketball. There was a, a dive out the uh, counter. Good five. And we. Jason Caffey was on that team who won rings with While you're talking, Utah gets another bucket inside the paint. The Oregon tight huh. three, eight minutes gone by what here they? in the second half. Tiger what Williams for three. <laughs> Zaire Williams launching a three. Back on the floor for Stanford. Williams, long jumper. Here's Williams, stops and pops the stretch rocks. That's a good point, and that's why they're so dialed in with this one. They don't want this one to get away. Now both of them getting on a little bit of a run, feeling it. Boy, that's a great. Be careful. He's really, really aggressive. He has to be careful. He doesn't pick up another foul. Nice pass. Great look inside for De Silva. The timing on slips. De Silva. Hunter breast cancer awareness. Zaire Williams back in the lineup for the Cardinals. Part of this Trojan team this year. After double figures is Jones. Nice pass oh. by Williams and it's throw. Get it done on the offensive end of the floor. And of course, they're without Oscar De Silva tonight. Third straight Utah game. lead back to double figures. Good pass, Oscar De Silva. Stanford is best when they move the ball and they get downhill and they come. And no Dejon Davis, nice pass to Will. The way Stanford cuts hard. A lot of times, guys, there you go. They, they run that play, they're just wearing it out. This is North Carolina game. Duke will have their time tonight. Brad Dorsey. Three in the corner. Turnovers from their previous game. Another wide open look. And Dejon in the second half. Williams up top to Telling old war stories. Ethan Anderson visiting Oregon State, deciding to... Coming up on 6-10 to go in the first half. And there's a steal. One last crack at it for Utah. Timmy Allen. Fumbles it, picks it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> please, please. You get language. to learn about basketball. But they couldn't afford it. And so his dad, like Cole, With Petty, tried to step back, couldn't get the real estate off. To... A 14-second difference in the clock. Yeah. has control of this game with Oscar, who speaks six languages. Great hands that time by Zaire. 
Quick start, nice over the shoulder, batted away, and Zaire Williams wins the race to the ball, and he'll finish. Obviously their best player, not in the lineup. Well, there's a quick run. Get it going again, out of the corner. Another three of these is probably how to change your mind, Michael Pohl. Play tech had it blocked, here comes Stanford again. Up by three, and no one I heard on his way up. It up. To make sure. By the way, you're, we got a picture. Tell Hoff that his team reminded you of Space Jam. No, I just thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> the other four are, are which? Oh, you can take your own. Shackleford. Oh. Oh. Akinjo, is he going? Yeah. Akinjo's going on the freshman. And Akinjo he came back from his knee injury. Bigger in Utah, man. they've had a run of playing those good teams recently. That's 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 like Jerry. Well, he's having a terrific game here tonight. We talked to McKinley Wright for a while yesterday. Back to our cut. Parquet tried to flush it. This weakness section will show you why Zaire is often considered a boom or bust guy. Context is key in a lot of this stuff, so it's worth mentioning that Stanford couldn't conduct normal workouts, had to stay in a hotel for over a month, didn't play at home until the second half of the season, and Zaire dealt with injuries and personal family issues as well. He struggled to catch a rhythm as a shooter and had some real inconsistencies there. He's going to need to make a concerted effort to start turning the corner after creating that initial separation, and then focus on improving as a finisher around the rim. He's got pretty solid fast twitch at that size, but he often relied on the step back and got pushed off his line. Ajay Moore has 11 points now to match the Edward. Wow, Zaire Williams has great defense, beautiful execution of the fast break. Now Precocious freshman can put it on the floor also. Yeah, it's halftime. Six points now for Lucas. 45-38. Well, hard to get confident, Ted, when you're not getting big chunks of minutes. Got all time bomb show. Talk about roll tide. Oh, she is going right. to She is coming for you. Oh. Oh. Basketball, Tara Vanderveer doing a great job there. And then Stanford gets the ball. He's just doing a fantastic job, not only on the overall five years, but circumstances. Good happen. Long three from Zaire Williams. Colorado with McKinley out. Barthelemy, a really dynamic freshman. And now they get good shots. They get easy shots. They just don't drop all the time. Williams above the free throws as well. Really like how Stanford runs their offense. Pull up mid range. Accomplished shooter, so why don't we make him initiate our offense and get our other guys? Williams, if they can get themselves into a bubble situation, do you think the NCAA can see? Because the big guys are out. And finally, Dante for the Ducks. He counts the first European land exploration of the state of California. Better luck. Again, let Williams fly by. Wow. The river up in northeastern Massachusetts. You ever been there? I've been to Massachusetts. Behind the back. Pretty pass, but Monet Green steps out. Forced up a bad shot there, Jaden Delaire. Breaking. From Isaiah Mobley, that length really coming into play again. Williams lost. Ajima, fingerprint in the half court. That's what we'll see tonight. Players had up and down season. Of course, missed six games with his court. Shot clock down to five. Maddox Daniels, a long, long time. He just, he, he went mind over matter, I think, on whatever it was. Baker, heat check. The yeah. team came to him. People were open, he dribbled it away, they had the foul. That left Joe Harris wide open. 16 now for Harris. 
Shot clock at five. It's poked away. Kane comes up with it and stops it. He got attention on Trey Young. Eyes of bull. Against the Hawks. Ready? 29-25 as Reddish. Here we go. Parker on the cut. Reddish. Ball movement leads to Reddish. Harris the help. Reddish. There's Lewis, and he drilled. Well, Lewis is curious, really, in the battle of Lewis. Ultimately, Zaire Williams is an upside pick. How confident you are in him reaching that obvious potential is going to determine where you rank him. Best case scenario for him is going to a team that has great organizational structure and veterans in place to help him make those necessary improvements because that talent is absolutely there. He's a smart guy, a team player by all accounts and body language, and adding that to what is clear talent make him someone I'm still for taking in the late lottery.